Can you Tell see me? It's called the Corn Dolly Triptych. It is a collaborative. I worked with master thatchers and blacksmiths and carpenters all locally here from County Clare and County Galway. I worked with um, uh, Ling Liu, who is a PhD student here. And I was really lucky to be close to Ellen. Our practices intertwined with one another and, and we spurred each other on through the process. The Corn Valley Triptych is, is three sculptures. They're approximately 10 to 12 feet tall. They're all made of water reed and straw, and each one represents a different time and place in the arc of the harvest ritual. And each one, as I was creating creating them, I challenged myself to learn new skills that and do new things with the mediums. Uh, so each one has a completely different feel and a completely different technique used that traditionally, um, well, it represents traditional um, craftsmanship with straw and reed. Great, thank you so much. Um, can you tell us how your experience at Byrne College of Art has impacted your practice and what you see for the future? Sure, um, Anya. Um, yeah, I came when I came here two years ago or a year and a half ago, I definitely had, I knew that I had a disconnect with, with my indigenous culture and this opportunity here gave me um, and uh, connect uh, with my heritage and um, gave me a language, gave me a way to communicate uh, with that. Uh, and I'm very grateful for that because it, it was definitely missing for me prior to coming here. For the future, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the future. I see, I see a shift in my practice more towards um, equity. I'm excited about embracing that. I have no idea what it looked like. Um, so I'm off on another journey. Letitia, Ruby is asking, could you talk about the symbolism and use of ritual in your work? Yes, gladly. Um, so ritual, it's, it's more about the frame of a ritual that actually um, started this process off. Um, and it, it became something bigger because even in the making, ritual became apparent you know, with, with the ritual of making. But obviously with the corn dolly, um, the history of the corn dollies themselves uh, embedded in the uh, harvest ritual, um, which interestingly enough, uh, the first corn dolly represents um, the harvest ritual from the 18th dynasty. And it's from a, hierog a hieroglyphic, um, uh, hieroglyphics on a tomb and as we go through time, we still celebrate the harvest ritual exactly how this ritual is actually played out on this 18th dynasty tomb. And it's not just about it being in, um, um, in Egypt, it's, it's played out you know, throughout the world. And I, find, I found that very fascinating. Um, as far as symbolism, yes, the first corn dolly just manifested itself in a very triangular design. And then as I moved into the Celtic corn dolly, you know, that, that has more of a pagan um, feel to it. It, it. it was all about circles and Robot Maria um, corn dolly, which represents the future, became more square and more, more confined and harder um, lines, which represents in my mind, you know, what we're dealing with um, at, at present.